Welcome to I Love Stocks. Please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for future updates. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And also leave comments if you like to down below. But today we're going to talk about two uh, companies that are going to be merging. You're going to hear it in the news soon. And that's going to be Tilray and APHA. T-L-R-Y and APHA. So we'll just take a good look at them right now. And I'm going to run a little short video kind of just show you what at least what APHA does and then Tilray is about the same kind this is APHA Best in America. I personally think with the investment of these two, the merger of these two companies, it's going to be a very, very good play in the long run. So right now we're going to kind of check out the stocks. We're going to be talking about APHA, and we're going to talk about Tilray, and we're going to talk about each one of them charts, and I'm going to show you maybe a good entry place and a good exit. So we'll start off with APHA right off the bat. Let's switch this around. A couple things i got to do to this, APHA. We'll get rid of this, and I've got my SMA chart here. We're going to look at the yearly show you what kind of run this thing's had had a nice little breakout here after hours it's already got the news so we want to try to consolidate but let's look at the yearly chart and we are at a yearly high up here right around 888 and i do believe we might have broke that after hours let me see we're at 928 and i got a 949 resistance right up here let's see if we hit it this is apha on the yearly chart Let's go back a few years and see if there's anything that I missed on this chart. Go back three years. Oh, look at that. What are we talking about here? We've got some pretty nice resistance levels we can hit on the three-year chart. And I do believe we're going to start bouncing right back up there. Let me think here. Where is this at? This is at 1046. Let's magnify this up a little bit. Well, first, let's draw a couple more trend lines in here. I see a resistance here at 1243. And then we'll just kind of call it quits right here at 1299. Let's go back to the one year. Well, it's one minute. So it's low support's going to be right down in here, right around 789. I'm going to put that into a red line. I think that's where we can pull back to this stock. And we have a little resistance level right up in here, right around the 843, which will now will also become a new support. And we'll change this here to a red. I've been charting for over 16 years and done over 1 million charts. So I kind of know what I'm doing here. Let's look at the 20 day. And we're going to have the final trop, triple top right here, the triple top breakout to be the first, first support. So this is how I'm going to call this trade out. I got three support levels. And actually this probably could be, let's make this a, a, a strong buy support channel right in here. We're going to color that in. That's going to be your strong buy. This is on a 20-day chart. Now, 
I want to go back to the one minute and see if there's anything I missed here after hours. We did pull back to nine. So let's make that your first support. This can change. This can change, but for right now, we'll just keep it here at nine bucks for a solid buy. And if this thing pulls back to nine, that would probably be my first entry. Then my second would be 868 with an 843 strong buy. And then if we get down to this territory down in here, if we get down in this area here, it's definitely going to be a real strong buy. But that 843 is going to be your third support. Second one's going to be this 968. And then that first one here is going to be 899. And that's APHA with a resistance to break. And let's go back to that three year chart. We're going to go back three years on this baby. 899. Okay, the next resistance levels are going to be 1074. 11.43, and then we try to get up to the resistance channel at 12.43 to 12.99, and that's APHA. Let's go ahead and go right to the other one, Tilray, T-L, and we're both, we're real bullish on both these stocks before this merger kicked in. About the same price right here, we're at 9.39, so let's see what we got here on the three-year thinking right there about 14 something let's pull up to the one year yeah we've got some resistance levels up through here we got this one right here at 1215 that'd be a double top break then the next one's here at 1353 and then well just this 1489 that would be a nice little triple top but I think we can stop here at around 1449 those are going to be our resistance levels but I want to take this to the one day one minute and see if there's anything I missed in here not bad not bad not bad not bad Tilray so strong buy right around the 830 area that second support is going to be here at 876 and then that first one is going to be right here right around the 910 area 910 when it pulls back that's going to be your first support 910 876 and then i'd like to see it hold at 830 if not we'll fall back to this seven well yeah right in here right around the 802 i think that would be the final fourth support i'll put that in a red line So we'll go back to the one year on this again. Magnify this up. There's a lot of room to run on this. As you can see just on the year chart, this thing ran all the way up to 2295. But we've got to break this resistance of 1215. Put that a red line. That's going to be your hard resistance to break. If we can get past 1215, we'll take it to 1353. 1449 and 1489 support level is going to be right down here right around that 930 area and let's look at that again on the 20 day I'd say right around these two three areas the supports 876 well I mean I don't leave out 910 but 876 830 and 803 if it decides to knife and those are my two stocks that I want to talk about in the cannabis industry Always remember, I love stocks. I'll be doing an update on these two tomorrow in another video, and we'll see how they turned out. And then we'll kind of get a, a provision on how they're going to run. We also have a Twitter account here. Please hit that follow button, and we sure appreciate that. Always remember, I love we love stocks.